learn about is the Construct Array tool and how we can use it to copy, for example, a station tick mark plus 50 along a curve. Now this can be handy if you're trying to locate for a match line exactly plus 50 on a curve. So where's this tool located? It's under our Home tab, it's under the Manipulate group, and it's located right there. So I'm gonna click on the tool. On the Tool Settings window, we have three different methods, rectangular, polar, and a long path. We're gonna be choosing a long path. And then for mode, you can do number, distance, or both. We're gonna be doing distance. Now we do need to put in distance. In our example, it's gonna be 50. So I'm gonna enter 50. We do wanna rotate the items because we're gonna be rotating the station tick mark along the curve. Now it does want us to locate the element to be copied. So I'm gonna move my cursor to the midpoint of the station tick mark and making sure that you are going to that midpoint. I'm gonna do a data, left click. Now it's looking for me to identify the path and where on the path I wanna begin. I'm gonna be using the intersection snap tool to set this. So I'm gonna to go to my intersection snap. I'm going to move my cursor over the intersection of the alignment and the station. Now you notice that the alignment is a solid highlight color. That means that's the element that it's gonna be using. And I wanna move my cursor a little bit further and you're gonna see it changes to a dash. Well, we want this to be solid. So we're gonna move our cursor there just a little bit so we see the alignment as a solid highlight. We're gonna do another data. Now it's looking for me to define the direction. So I'm gonna move my cursor along until I get to 50 feet, I won't see the station tick mark. So you can see if I go less than 50, it disappears. More than 50, it reappears. To accept this, I just do a data and there we go. Now we're gonna do this at not plus 50. We can see how we can use this to go, let's say an odd number. So I'm gonna change this value to 26.5. I'm gonna repeat the process, move our cursor to the element that we want to copy and that's gonna be the station tick mark. I'm gonna do a data. Now I'm gonna to go to my intersection snap I'm gonna highlight the alignment. I'm gonna do a data. And again, I move my cursor in the direction I wanna go. And you can see there's my 26 and a half feet along that curve in that direction. So I'm gonna do a data. Now to validate that we are exactly those distances, we're gonna to go to our Analyze tab at the top. I'm gonna to go to Measure Distance. On the Tool Settings window, we're gonna change the method to a long element. Make sure that's set. Now we're going to start at the intersection of the alignment and the station, the original station. I'm not using intersection snap. What I'm gonna use is a function that's the reset button. When I move my cursor over this midpoint of the station, technically there are two elements there. There's the station tick mark and there's the alignment. When I do a data, it highlights the station tick mark. Well, that's not the element I wanted, so I hit reset, the right button on my mouse, and then it goes to the other element that was inside the circle where I did the data. Now I can just move my cursor to the midpoint of that element there. I do a data, and you can see it's exactly 26.5 feet. Now, if I continue on to this next station tick mark, you can see that's exactly 50 feet. So this is a great tool for locating along a curve an exact distance for either putting in match lines or for doing ADA ramps, just a whole bunch of things.